Are you trying to outrun your fears? Welcome to the Daily Devo. I am Vince Miller. This week we're in chapter 21 of 1 Samuel, I've titled this chapter, Man on the Run. And just as a side note today, there are so many people that have been affected by the recent storm that swept across the Southeast United States. We want to be praying for these people. A number of them have reached out to me for prayers, and I want you to join me in prayer. If you're a prayer warrior, go to our prayer page, sign up to be a prayer partner. And if you need prayer, please let us know your request there. Anything goes, we want to know about it, and we want to pray for you. So back to the devotional. Yesterday, we saw that David ran to Nob, to Ahimelech, the high priest. Today, he's going to run somewhere new. So let's see where he runs in verses 10 through 12. And David rose and fled that day from Saul and went to Achish, the king of Gath. And the servants of Achish said to him, Is not this David the king of the land? Did they not sing to one another of him in dances? Saul has struck his thousands, and David his ten thousands. And David took these words to heart and was much afraid of Achish, the king of Gath. So if we go all the way back to chapter 5 in our study, we will remember that there were five main Philistine cities, and Gath was one of those five. And a lord led each one of these cities. So this lord or king was Akesh who led Gath. So we find out now that David runs from Nob to Gath, which is 23 miles southwest into Philistine territory, probably thinking that the enemy of my enemy is my friend. <laughs> but don't forget, Gath was the hometown of the great Philistine warrior named Goliath. And David had just acquired his sword. <laughs> Even worse, once he gets there, his folk hero status precedes him as some of the servants of Achish quickly reference the folk song that Israelites sang about him. But mind you, David is fully aware of what was going on. He knows that running to Achish and to Gath might provide a little bit of temporary cover from Saul, but it also is going to put him in harm's way with Achish and the Philistines. Still, he runs the risk. And now his fears only increase as he learns that a man can never outrun his fears. A man can never outrun his fears. You know, there have been a few times in my life as a man of God where adverse events in my life keep happening that lead to these waves, waves of fear. When it's usually just one or two events, I'm usually okay. But after a few similar events, recur, questions begin to stir in my mind. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Eventually, I'll fixate on one of two theories. Either I have done something unrighteous to provoke these events, or my righteousness has provoked these events, and they're now hunting me down. <laughs> Either way, this is a pretty lonely feeling, because suspicions and fears begin to take hold in my mind, which is a battle or a direct attack on my faith in God. So to this point, David has fought a lot of battles, great ones with great enemy warriors, but I think the battles within his mind are the most intriguing. So let's back up a few days to our devotional on Sunday. If you remember, we said a couple of journal entries were made during this time, songs that David wrote during his time in Gath. And Psalm 56 is another one. So I want you to listen to parts of the song that he secretly wrote during this very lonely time that tell us how he was fighting this battle in his own mind. Listen to a few verses or stanzas of the song. David says, Be gracious to me, O God, for man tramples on me all day long. An attacker oppresses me. My enemies trample on me all day long. For many attack me proudly when I am afraid. You hear the fear there, the fear that we just talked about. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you, in God, whose word I praise. In God I trust, I shall not be afraid. What can flesh do to me? Oh my goodness, that is so good, isn't it? Just to hear what's going on in his mind. But let me continue. In God, 
whose word I praise, in the Lord whose word I praise, in God I trust. I shall not be afraid. What can man do to me? What can man do to me? Hopefully you see that David realizes that he may outrun Saul, but he will never outrun his fears. Never outrun his fears. He must fight his waves of fear and faith with the truth of God. And this is what you have to do as well. When surrounded by fear, you cannot outrun your fears. You also cannot let the waves of your fears beat you down. You need to fight them by finding shelter on the rock. Let the waves of your fears beat against the rock of your salvation. God and his truth are firm and unchanging. Look down upon your fears and do not be afraid. There is nothing man can do to you when you trust in God. Let me pray. God, given the events surrounding us today and the waves of fear that beat against us, we choose to put our faith in you, the rock of our salvation. Amen. I love you guys. I pray this has blessed you. If it has, share it with someone else and live all in for him who lived all in for you.